Well, that's inconvenient. Uh, we'll tell you more about it in a separate video uh, about the error in our new CNC machine. But this car also had an error on the dash check engine light because it has some mods that are not usually on the car. So it didn't, <laughs> Porsche doesn't agree as uh, the majority of Porsche enthusiasts probably do not agree with the type of mods that you put on, but uh, I do agree <laughs> because it was fantastic. And I didn't know it until I actually started driving it because, well, on the outside already, it has Nankang CRS tires, it has Apex wheels, it has gyro disc, Paget uh, RSL1 brake pads. It is a Carrera 901.2 GTS, so just rear wheel drive. But underneath, it has also two bigger snails, right? Yeah. So we, uh, we got custom uh, larger turbos made by a local company. Uh, we got it, well, of course, tuned, more mm -hmm. cooling, uh, third oil cooler, which actually okay. comes standard on the hot uh, country models. Oh, really? Like in UAE and whatnot. And oh, wow, cool. didn't know that. That's nice. Pretty interesting. Um, some exhaust mods, of course, and uh, intake and some other piping here and there, and that's about it. That's pretty cool. And for me, it was very exciting because it's the first type of a 901.2 Carrera that has been modified like this because majority of people just more of well do a gt3 with some aero mods some one-time mods or some other mods but to see something like this at least in well in europe i mean of course in us etc it's probably more common and for the track this was really good the only downside was the suspension is still stock um and uh, therefore the car was causing a bit of body roll but it was amazing i loved it so power wise do you Hard to tell. I, my best guess would be in the 600 range, okay. 650 maybe, but... Uh, yeah, because yeah. stock they are like close to 500. 450. Yeah, 450 and that's with bigger turbos, so... Uh, uh, I don't know, it, it felt fast, but most importantly it felt controllable. So your next mods would be then suspension and possibly uh, aero? Uh, aero, definitely. Some lower control arms, because it really needs more camber to that On the front, uh, yeah. The front understeer we're having. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. for now. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoy as well. Uh, it was amazing. It was the first fast car I drove after my crash. Uh, I think I did okay. No, not scared. I mean, no, still kind of cautious, I would say. Especially for bikers. Always be extra cautious for those. Um, anyway, uh, thanks so much. I really Thank enjoyed you. it. <laughs> and uh, on to next time with a bit more aero and uh, maybe different shocks.
out and going on the brakes. That's around the 700 range uh, it runs 100 to 200 in about six seconds I drag lift okay um, so 
Okay. You know? Plenty. Plenty. <laughs> More okay. than enough. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Okay. No, then poof. it's really, really good. Okay, aside from needing to refuel, what are our temps? Oil is 111. Uh, water is still on a nice uh, 90. It's dropping also very quickly, so that's good. Very good. No, I loved it. Good, so get a new suspension and then yeah. it's going to be a weapon. <laughs> that's on the way. Really, absolutely. really impressed. And you can get some more fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Do more laps. <laughs> yes.